well uh, we were discussing the properties of the uh, factor demand and output supply function of a profit maximizing firm uh, we have already discussed the first property of the factor demand function in the previous video which is uh, the factor demand function uh, is homogeneous of degree 0 and we already discussed it in the last video in this video uh, lecture we are going to discuss the uh, comparative statics of a private maximizing firm uh, we are taking a single output right and uh, we assume that let the prices of the factor input change let's see what happens to the uh, profit maximizing behavior of a firm this analysis will help us uh, identifying some uh, more properties of the factor demand and supply function of a profit maximizing firm. So let us start it. So we assume that suppose the uh, profit maximizing problem is given by this function. Maximizing profit, this is total revenue and this is total cost of the function, right? And suppose we want to maximize it. If we want to maximize it, we have to apply the first order condition and the second order condition. The first order condition is we take the first order derivative of this function and we put it equal to zero and we solve it and we get some critical value and there those critical values are uh, those values at, at which the profit is maximized and the critical values are reported by the factor demand function x is a function of output price and input price this demand function is actually showing the critical values that is the optimal factor bundle which is required to maximize profit so we took the first order derivative a prime mean the first order derivative of the function and we put it equal to zero so if we solve it this is this is the marginal revenue and this is the marginal cost so the marginal revenue must equal to the marginal cost according to the first order condition so this is the necessary condition for profit maximization the second error condition can be the second error derivative of the profit function if we take the first error derivative of the uh, first order condition we will get the second order derivative or the second order condition or in simple words it is the second error derivative of the profit function and for the maximum profit it must at most equal to zero it, it means that it will be less than zero or it will be equal to zero so this is this is the this reflects the initial equilibrium of the firm at which the profit is maximized the comparative statics or the sensitivity analysis is not yet started uh, if we introduce the comparative statics or the sensitivity analysis uh, we will take the derivative of the first error condition with respect to W. It means that we are assuming that uh, suppose the prices of the factor inputs changes. Let's see what happens. So if you differentiate the first order derivative, the sorry, the first order condition with respect to W, as we know that the first order condition is given by given by this this function. If we take the derivative of this function, this is the first order condition with respect to W, we know that uh, if our production function depends upon X, but X depends upon price prices, right? So if we take the derivative of this function with respect to W, we will apply chain rule. If Y is the function of X and X is the function of prices and you need the derivative of the production function with respect to the input prices the input price will change the demand for factor input and the change in demand for factor input will change your ultimate production so that's why chain rule has been applied over here so p f double prime of x the second prime is of the, the derivative with respect to w and again we have to this is change in f due to change in x and change in x due to change in w and the derivative of w with respect to w is equal to 1 so this is how to take the derivative of the function with respect to w if you solve it for w you shift 1 to the right hand side right so this it has been shifted 
and if you divide both side by this term p of double prime of x so you will be left with the derivative of factor demand function with respect to w this is equal to 1 over p f double prime of x what this thing is exactly is this is the rate of change in the marginal productivity this is what the, you can call it the slope of the marginal production or marginal revenue sorry marginal revenue and it can also be uh, it can also be defined as the rate of change in the marginal revenue, right? It is inversely related to the uh, change in factor demand function with respect to W. So it means that if you are increasing your wage rate, it will affect, it will influence your factor demand function, and it is inversely related to the uh, the rate of change in the marginal revenue. This is marginal revenue because uh, a prime of x, this is the marginal physical product, right? But if you multiply it with p, then it becomes the marginal revenue, right? And if you take the secondary derivative of it, then it becomes the uh, rate of change of the uh, marginal revenue. So the higher is the uh, P of double prime of X, the higher will be the curvature in the in the production function, right? And the lower uh, is the P of double prime of X, lower will be the curvature of the production function. So you can see these are two panel, panel A and panel P. So in panel A, the curvature of the production function is less, but the curvature in the production function is high. So it means that P of double prime of X is higher in case of panel B as compared to panel A. And it, this curvature shows the rate of change in the marginal productivity or the uh, marginal revenue of the firm. So the first inference we can draw from the uh, comparative statics of the profit function is if you change the input prices, right, it will have an influence over the rate of change of the model productivity of the uh, firm. So this is how to uh, how the factor input demand function responds to change in the input prices. Thank you. Thanks for watching.